can't uh, ignore is the, the overall uh, fiscal environment that we're living under, and that is uh, that the, the, the world of local government and public services has changed, and it's never going to go back to uh, a, 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 a sort of the sunless uplands. Uh, we're, we're going to have to operate in a, in a different way in the future, and there's less money uh, around, there's always going to be less money, and we've got to make that money go further. In the past, we didn't, you know, often we actually didn't know what other parts of the, the public sector were doing in our areas. Uh, and ha happily, those barriers have been broken down over, over some period. I mean, I suppose it started with local strategic partnerships being the, the first time that sort of we were we actually were made to, you know, the national government made us sit down with our other partners in the area. Happily, we've moved from that sort of insistence to a, 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 a range of relationships that work best for those areas. Now with LEPS, but other arrangements as well, is that you actually begin to, the leadership, the wider leadership of, of cities begins to understand and sees the whole picture and not just one one portion of it. And we can go a lot further on that. I mean, often, you know, what we know is that uh, government departments like Department of Work and Pensions can be spending their budget in a in a city can be just as much as the local authorities spending in a city. And yet, still, it's it's not one step removed. It's totally removed. Whether it's on you know training and skills, we know that 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 we get twice the results if that is actually controlled and, and run at a local level than a national scheme with a sort of all, you know, a blanket approach to training and skills. The evidence is there. And that understanding is increasingly there in departments like DWP that historically have been, you know, have not really seen a, a cooperation with local authorities as being remotely what they do. Happily, that is, that is really changing. We need that to extend to all parts of government uh, that work in local areas to see the, the, the value of particularly uh, working in cities and areas surrounding cities and that they will get the value and frankly will help them to deliver their policies. I hope we would not return to, to uh, an economy where it was just so patchy, the performance was so patchy uh, and that people were looking to the sort of the, the great metropolis as being uh, where investment has continued or certainly in the centre of it. I think we would have a, a more balanced economy. But I think it's, it's more than just money and the value of money. It's actually how people feel about their cities. And what we see is you know, enormous pride in cities. Uh, and that's, that's you know, a wonderful sort of foundation for economic but also social improvement.